So a conversation while streaming earlier tonight made me want to make a quick video to teach a few quick tips about Roll20 when it comes to macros and token actions. So let's jump on over to Roll20. Now everyone knows in Roll20 um, the sheets, you can go open your character sheet out of your journal and then whenever you click on something, let's say this hand axe, it will automatically roll over in the chat. However, um, there are much quicker ways that you could do things, especially if you're somebody who's, you know, playing on a laptop and you only have one screen. It's not always great to have this character sheet taking up all your room. You can minimize it and bring it back up when you need, but wouldn't it be great if there was just a quick way to use that one thing that you always use? And there is. So first, uh, let's learn the fact that you can click on your token and hold down shift and double click and it will pull up your character sheet. So no more jumping over into the journal and digging through folders, especially if you're a GM and you're juggling, you know, 15, 20 NPCs in any given session that can save you a ton of time because you can just find the baddie, shift, double click on the baddie and there's their sheet, right? So once we have our character sheet open though, what we can do is we can go over here to macros and we can show the quick macro bar or the macro quick bar and down here underneath where all the names or webcams are you can grab your greatsword and drag it down there and it's going to look like a mess but you can rename it you know and just call it greatsword you can even color it if you want there we go now doesn't that look pretty so with a single click, now every time I need to go, I'm a barbarian, all I do my, on my turn is attack with my greatsword, I don't need to go open my character sheet, I can watch what's going on, and I can just click greatsword. This is real handy because, uh, like on my character, I have my weapon attacks, the saves, um, you know, the three saves that I use all the time, and then, you know, perception, stealth, the skills that I'm always using. I can have them right here. You can, you know, have stuff all the way across your screen, but where this kind of falls apart in usefulness is those are only there for me, and those are only there, those are there regardless of which character I've got, right? So if I have multiple characters, or if I'm a GM and running multiple NPCs, or if I'm a character who has a familiar, all of that stuff is down there regardless of what's going on. And it's only there for me. So if I'm not here this week and somebody else wants to uh, play my character, if they have all of their character stuff down there, mine's not suddenly added to that. I'm the only one that sees this macro bar. But there is an area in your character sheet under attributes and abilities where you can create token actions. And what that allows you to do is when you click on a token, you have a quick menu bar up here. And so in this little training dungeon that I have to teach people both D&D and uh, Roll20, all of my bad guys have their different attacks in these quick macro buttons. So I can click and it automatically whispers to me, you know, here's his crossbow attack. And there's two ways that you can do this. You can refer to the wiki and go find out the coding on this is what an NPC uses for initiative and this is how you use, you know, the, the different actions. If there was a multi attack, you could just repeat this macro or if they use one ability and then another like a bite and then a claw, you could do action zero and then action one. But that's all, you know, much too complicated for what we're doing in this particular demonstration. So we're just going to go back to our greatsword. Now the easiest way to slap greatsword on my character's token is to attack with the greatsword, put my cursor in the chat box and click the up arrow key and then the code for the most recent uh, chat action shows up. Hop on back over here, I edit, I drop it in and I call it great sword, right? Check and done show as token action, and then I can close my character sheet, and whenever I click on my barbarian, there it is. More importantly, anyone else who has the ability to control my token, the GM included, has the ability to click on it and do that action. So as the GM, of course, I no longer need all of my bad guy character sheets open. Uh, you know, if I was referencing something, that would be handy, but your run of the mill, like, it moves, it attacks, it's turn over, can now all be reduced to it moves, it attacks, it's turns over. Cool? 
cool. Uh, like I said, this was very focused and very fast. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, comments down below, let me know. I'll gladly help out. And if you're looking for more in-depth stuff, I'm always open to try and teach. I don't know everything, but I do know some tips and tricks and can really like streamline the, the process. So hope you guys found this useful and uh, look forward to making more of these kind of quick tidbits in the future.